Oh, it's okay with you. Yeah. Before we starting, I just uh, made a model of uh, of the epiglottis. Uh, remember that we have two tubes coming from the throat down. Yeah, we have two tubes. What's the name of the first tube? Trachea. 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 Where does it take us from the mouth to the lungs? Good. And the back one is the esophagus. And it takes us from the mouth to the, to the stomach. Yeah? Okay. Now, imagine that this whole area here is the mouth, and we have food that coming. Now, the thing is that when we, we have the tongue here, and when you swallow something, you push your tongue up onto the roof of the mouth, and then you allow the food to go backward. But the problem is how the food is not going to end up in this tube. Yeah? As sometimes happens when you talk, when you eat, or laughing, and then it goes the wrong way. So we have here a piece of cartilage that's called epiglottis. When food comes in, it pushes the epiglottis and block. You see how it blocks the, the um, trachea? So food goes only to the, now, to the esophagus. Now, when food finish, <coughs> the epiglottis is cartilage, and it just like, ping, go back. Yeah. So when you're breathing, is not a problem, it goes to the trachea. But when you're eating, the food pushes against the epiglottis and then glide right into the right hole, and then food finished, it bounces back. But it doesn't close completely. I, I'm not sure. I think it is, <coughs> you look, it is closing completely. So it does close in completely. The problem is, when you're eating, and then you want to talk, you take air and then there is no closure. So you want to say something and then the food can go in. Usually it's pretty good. Okay? 